Good afternoon, D66 group folks. This week brings us to, as I pan around here, to North Idaho, to the east shore of Coeur d'Alene Lake, to our family lake cabin where many people are celebrating and enjoying Memorial Day weekend today. I uh, read an article this morning about a guy named Forrest Fenn, who was a antiquities dealer in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He was in his early 80s and um, had a, quite a fortune. And one day he took a box, a treasure chest, so to speak, loaded it up full of jewelry and precious metal and other kinds of things and went out somewhere and buried it. And at the end of his autobiography, he left a poem with clues on where this buried treasure was. And a lot of people question whether that treasure even existed or not. Well, fast forward about nine years and tragically in the process of looking for that treasure, five people lost their lives. Many people nearly died of exposure or few were even arrested in Yellowstone Park, ironically, where a lot of people felt the clues were leading them to. But anyway, there was this great pursuit over many years by many people to try to find this treasure, which ended last year when a gentleman located it, which revealed to be somewhere in Montana, excuse me, in, in Wyoming, and probably did indeed, wasn't found, indeed found in Yellowstone. But anyway, that being said, all of that effort, all of that struggle for a treasure that won't last. And one passage that's really been ministering to me lately that I've been memorizing from First Peter, for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flower of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. So these words, which is the name of this group, these words are eternal. The word of the Lord stands forever. It has everlasting value. And as you let it work in your spirit, it will, it will lift you. It will restore you. It will continue to minister to you. It has everlasting qualities that will go beyond anything in this world. And it is a treasure, a precious treasure. Just want to encourage you with that today and continue again to make small goals, maybe a couple verses a week. Uh, again, find a passage you like. If you're still kind of struggling, like getting even getting started, that's okay. Find a passage you like. Again, reviewing things we've talked about before. Find a version you like, NIV, New King James, English Standard, whatever that you like, and go with that. And again, make a goal, make short goals of maybe a couple verses a week to get them down, letter perfect. Now, I'd like to hear from you and see how you're doing. Uh, put a post here on the group site and say what you're doing and maybe just some small goals you accomplished. But keep at it. Keep working at it every day, and you will find that enduring living word creating life, spiritual life in you through the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend wherever you're at and you're celebrating today and have a great week. Take care.